Hello everyone, thank you for joining me here. My name of course is Senor Moco Lover, and we shall continue with our Hearts of Iron 4 campaign. So, I'm not anticipating this, but we might end up completing the campaign in this episode. Why am I saying that? Well, who do we have to capitulate? Well, we'd capitulate Canada, of course. The French Republic, which is dying very quickly. They're not not—they're not doing very well. Uh, let's see. The United States of America hasn't been touched yet, but seeing as though Mexico has gone, the United States may or may not put up a fight. I don't know. And then we'd capitulate the British Reconstruction Authorities, in which our puppets are doing a bang-up job, but just not doing it very united-like. I think you guys might need a little bit of help. So, how many divisions does the United States have? That's, that's Despite being a union of social American states, that's still a cool flag. This, well, they're pretty divided between market liberals, liberal party, and democratic party. Huh. Uh, they, uh okay, this might, might literally be the last episode, I don't know. And maybe I'll show you tomorrow what I've got in store. I don't know, we'll see what happens anyways. Let's just speed it up, because I'm not worried about really any other nation. As long as we can smash on our way through Mexico. That's really what I want. So, uh, As well as, of course, the Republic. No, the French Republic. Not the Republic of France. But the French Republic. Yeah, they're, they're doing a good job. Good boys. Under the greatest generals called No Commander. Alright, very nice. Return plans. We're getting better and better stability. I gotta think of words here, man. I'm getting better stability because we had that little modifier. Uh, ooh, are our guys taking a few hits here, eh? I don't know. It sounds like it's raining outside. But anyways, uh, let's see. It sounds like it might be raining. It might be raining. Oh, good. We took that territory after I nuked it twice. Hopefully, we can take London. Medium SP anti-air. Very nice. Very good, guys. Very very good. Uh, extra factories. Austria does not concern itself with. I mean, German Empire doesn't concern itself with extra factories. Wow. Yep. It doesn't look like it's raining, but I definitely hear the sounds, even though you guys cannot. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I mean, this is this is so sad. The French Republic. All they wanted to do was come back home, and we said, Nah, we like you in Africa. More specifically, in the ground. Oh my God, that was 30 convoys sunk. We like you in the ground in Africa. Ooh. So if we take out uh, Mexico City, we take out maybe another city over here, the new capital will go to Tijuana. Interesting. Oh. Oh, it's still there. Okay. Cool. Thanks for doing a great job. Great, great job. Uh, Lothar. Uh, no. Alright, cool. Very nice. Oh, happy 1952, everyone. Very, very happy year. Why is that? Well, it's because we are winning. That's why. That's the only reason why it's a gap here. Let's check out how Southeast Asia is doing. So, we're not really providing too many soldiers. We're providing a few over here. Uh, you guys actually need orders, probably. To finish these guys off. What are you guys doing? Uh, you're fighting up here, which is fine. That's good. Just, yeah, do something like that. And over here, Sai am. They're moving in. They'll be taken out, which means that Japan can really focus on other portions of Southeast Asia, or really, realistically, anybody. I do need to make sure that I put a fleet over here, but I'm really waiting for the British Reconstruction Authority to finish first, and then I will move this fleet near the Australasian Confederation. Nice. Honestly, Japan, I think that looks pretty good. That's a really nice fit, actually, with the territory they've taken. Actually, I don't like this part, though. They should not own this. I not? No, 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 no. Thank you. They definitely should not own that. Or any, or any realistically, any Chinese provinces. Now that's nice. That's really nice. I think that's awesome. Cool. Good job, guys. You did a great job. Now, since we still have Anton Sturm here, and actually, you have this. Let's go ahead and be added to him. And regarding... Oh. And with that, we're going to put one... Two, three. Good enough. Over here. Uh, I don't really want to 
use this army. So Russia, you can have it back and you'll probably get them all killed. And that's totally, totally fine with me. I'm going to place you guys over to Saigon and close to Dalat. Because when I want to use our this army to help reinforce Borneo, that's really what I want. But of course we don't have our fleet here because they're busy both around South Africa. Which actually should finish up soon, so I could send this fleet instead, actually. Ah, uh, sure, you might as well repair. Uh, some... Actually, there's not a whole lot of ships that really need repair. That's actually really awesome. How many ships are repairing, though? We have a total of... None! Awesome! Well, Italy, you have a ton of divisions. Ooh, very nice! Good job, guys. Mexico capitulated faster than I expected. Or at least faster than I expected um, them to do. Come on, just take that territory. Right, where are you guys? You are still trying to get to the front line. Alright, so. You're ca called South America. You're coming over here. And you all will get on the border and try to bum rush the Americans. This is why you need a border wall, United States. Because if Mexico wants to just come straight on in, they can. Oh, boy. Talk about modern politics. But I'm not really. Or am I? I don't know. The discretion, or the opinion of the viewer, is what matters the most. So, I am going to keep not talking about it. Anyways, uh, yeah, just go straight on through the border, or the lack thereof. I mean, if you're not there, I can really help you with Mex America. So, let's see, do they have a border wall? Let's see, do you have any fort? Look. Oh, they have a slight fort line there. Uh, they have no forts there. Uh, the fort line there. Fort line, of course, in Texas, I guess you do have fort lines. Oh, kind of. Uh, El Paso does New Mexico, or I guess, yeah, that's New Mexico. They actually have a fort wall against Mexico. Arizona, no, yes, yes. And California, yes, yes. No, oh, hmm, interesting. So the border wall is kind of mixed up. Actually, it's kind of like that in real life, too, isn't it? Isn't the actual U.S. Mexican border, like, there's portions of it actually fenced off? And there's other portions of it that are not fenced off as well. So I think that's what it was. Oh, that's a nice flag. Is that Ossetania's? Is Ossetania. Yes, it is. That's really cool. That's a really nice flag. Even though it does remind me a little bit of syndicalism, which we don't like. Too many horror stories of syndicalist propaganda. Oh, it's like a modern destroyer. This is rapidly turning into the French Republic. A terrible deal. One of the worst trade deals perhaps in history. Perhaps ever. They've lost more than half a million. Yeah, I'm really seeing this. Who are you? Oh, you were detached. Okay, so that makes sense. Like, I don't ever just assign a single destroyer by itself. You know, people have screens and stuff for that. They'll have, like, a collection of, like, 18 destroyers as screens to help ward off any subs. But the way the naval meta is in, the, in this game currently, because it may change in the future, which hopefully it will, is that all you need are destroyers and battleships, nothing else. Oh, yeah, and a bunch of land fighters to help protect your waters or protect your planes from other fighters and stuff. Oh, they're putting up quite a resistance here. Are we actually trying to kill convoys? Yeah, we are. Hmm. That's okay. South Africa, how many soldiers do you have? Or South African Federation? You have a quarter of a million. That's actually not too bad. You're very market liberal. Very progressive. Okay, cool. And finally, the British Reconstruction Authority has finally capitulated. Oh my god. So, I guess Flanders of Valonia wants Cornwall. The Ottoman Empire, bless their hearts, wants to bring Islam and their culture to the whole of uh, the, U the former UK. And Irish just want Scotland, for the most part. Well, I guess Northern Scotland. Wow. This is weird. This is very weird. Anyways. Uh, yeah, actually, everyone... Just go ahead and repair before I send you elsewhere. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have them all like repair before I send them anywhere else. Uh, that shouldn't be. That really shouldn't take too long to do. Before I send them to the Pacific, yeah. One more ship. Three more ships. Five ships. Oh, actually six ships. Five ships. They'll be done very soon. Medium tank destroyer too. We're almost out of things for tanks to build, or I mean research. Very good. This rate. Uh. A lot of these ships did get hit quite hard, though. Uh, oh, the French Republic capitulated. What a great day. 
I mean, it wasn't like the triple capitulations of yesterday on a single day. But we've capitulated Mexico, we've cap capitulated the British Reconstruction Authority, and we've finally capitulated the uh, French uh, Republic. I just can't wait for man the guns. I mean, why am I trying to repair dreadnoughts from 1912? 1919. Ugh. Why? Alright, we're gonna keep that. That should be... okay. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, these guys. Oh, I'm using a lot of Ottoman soldiers here. No wonder they wanted all that territory in uh, the British Reconstruction Area. Authority. How's this going? Oh, we are... Texas is half ours because there are no American divisions here. God dang it, America. See, in Vanilla Hoy 4, America will just station like 60 billion divisions on the U.S. border, or really on every province. So you would never have this problem. I also have this problem in Furright, where if you try to invade the United States through the southern border, usually there's like no one there. But in the mods, there's like, you know, the United States is always divided or always trying to fight someone else. So... Whew. That's unfortunate. I mean, I guess, you know, the United States, they did go through a civil war. They technically fought us earlier. Then we had a white peace. I mean, the capital's in Boston, so this is a completely screwed up United States. But that's okay. Totally, totally okay. I'm just a little bit more concerned about South Africa. That's really my, more of my concern, because I want to finish that up as well. Now, so we have 14 dreadnoughts up here. Is anyone actually getting repairs? Well, yes. It'll be done by June, but obviously that'll go on a little faster than that. Uh, yeah, this is... That's a little too easy. I mean, it is 1952. You know, the United States manpower pool has seriously dried up. Holy shisa. Scraping the barrel with 77,000 soldiers maximum. And the Canadians have less, a little less than that at scraping the barrel. You know you've done screwed up when the United States only has... 77,000 men left. Like, you have to be conscripting 14-year-olds, 12-year-olds into your army at that point. Oh, God. I think I'm done. I, I think I'm literally out of research. We're done here. Uh, we've done all this. We've done. We've been a great, great audience for research. Learning so much. You know what? Screw it. We're just going to switch from superior firepower to mass assault now. I need more manpower. Just kidding. I'm not doing that. That would be absolutely insane. Oh, wait, we're not done yet. We've still got advanced carriers to do, that's alright. Not even going to use them. But it looks like our puppets now kind of want to come come over to America and settle. Like, we got a lot of Danes, Im Danish immigrants, we got some Ethiopian immigrants, we've got some Turkish immigrants, Italians. Oh, they got a lot of Italians. They got a lot of Russians, a few Ukrainians. America is the place of immigrants. God, I gotta get this up, bringing up political stuff. Even though, even though I'm not really trying. So, how's this going? Oh, uh, actually. It looks like the Chinese, as well as the Japanese, both kind of equally decided to come here. Alright, very cool. Very cool. Even though I don't think we'll really be able to capitulate the S Australasian Confederation. Yeah, I don't think we'll be able to really do that if the United States and Canada collapses. Because those are the last two big boys here. And when we to capitulate the United States, hmm... I think ultimately, I will take all of Mexico. I won't take all of Mexico. I will release Mexico because that's a pretty freaking huge nation, and we already have a lot of colonies in South America and Centro America. So with Mexico, I will liberate Mexico. I will liberate a divided United States with at least two factions, and Canada will just be Canada, or not. Hmm. Hmm. Oh yeah, we also have Hawaii, which I'll just I'll just straight up annex them. I will probably. Oh, what am I gonna do? With the United States just literally dying before our little literal eyes. You know what? I kinda wanna liberate the American Union state. I don't want to liberate the Union of Socialist American States. Can I liberate New England? Canada has a claim on Vermont. Go screw yourself, Canada. No way, man. If anything, we've got a claim on St. Lawrence here from America. That's a truly American territory. Anyways, um, not really sure. Well, if I have to, I'll, I will release the Union of Socialist American, not really Socialist States. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure I've ran out of things to research. Oh, uh, yeah, I love this research tree. Definitely not as large as Road to 56 is, but then again, Road to 56 is a, it's a mod. It's like, you know, it's, it's like the mod for Hoi 4 when you say, we live in a society. It's a mod. 
We live in a society. Low manpower? What are you talking about? What are you talking about, man? That's 2 million boys, more than 2.3 million boys ready to fight. I mean, for God's sakes, we got Spain under control here. Um, yeah, at this point, I'm just literally waiting for something to happen. Oh. Looks like our allies are trying to attack. Or something. Portugal. Good. Mm. Gotta put down that coffee. Oh, yeah, I, I have coffee here, by, by the way. Anyways, uh, let's see. Portugal. I'm still living here. A lot of convoys. You know what? Did I forget to add in some... I might have forgot to add some of this in. You could use some of this. Wait, do we have... Wait a second. Hold on. Wait a second. Hold on now. Oh. Uh. Okay, I forgot about using the heavy fighters. I mean, that's that's a big no-no. Oh. Oh, boy. Yeah, this one just... We can just delete that. That never happened. Oh, my gosh, no. That's okay. We're not really going to spend that much time redeploying a lot of things because we just need a single strategic bomber. And because of that, Africa, I hope... I hope you're ready to get even hotter. Here we go. Since we have so many nukes, I can't even tell. I think we have at least two. And, oh. You know, I was correct. We only had two. Two left by the time I kept clicking that. Okay. Well, I nuked a province that didn't even have soldiers in it. Um, I swear I'm an okay Hoi 4 player. I swear I am. Oh, uh, you guys don't even have orders. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. All of you don't have orders. So, oh yeah, I guess, oh uh, shit, what'd I do? Well, whatever. I guess I got rid of that guy, because the game is lagging kind of hard, to be honest. That's okay, though. Do we have any extra generals? Any extra generals? No, 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 okay, sure, sure. Sure thing. Alright, let's re go ahead and redeploy this front line. We're going to call in soldiers from other parts of the world. And by other parts of the world, I mean North Africa, because the soldiers I'm using, not all of them are very strong. I should have really waited to use more nukes. Should have nuked Cape Town. I really wish we could... Oh, wait. We can check. So in about ten days, we'll have another nuke. Awesome. Mm. 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 If you can see, I'm giving you a thumbs up right now, because... Just finish the coffee. Good stuff, man. Good stuff, man. I had some Chick-fil-A earlier. Those nuggets, Chick-fil-A nuggets, so good. I know it's completely random for me saying that, but they were so good. Nothing goes better together than Hoi 4 and Chick-fil-A chicken nuggets. Mm. I'm such an American. Not even funny. Oh. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, no boys. No boys are coming this way. Oh, uh, they're coming in. I know... Oh, God. Your current manpower is 24% of the entire division of what it should be. Have I bled the Ukraine dry? I almost have. And Sardinia is still fighting here, but that's okay. Uh, I'm sorry, Ukraine. I suppose, you know, in every timeline, someone is going to kill off a lot of Ukrainian soldiers. I'm just going to put that out there. Whether it be through starvation, through repeated attacks and defenses, that may or may not do well. You know, it, it's... It's just bound to happen. It's like something that happens in every Hoi 4 mod. Like, you always have Benito Mussolini. You always have uh, Japanese Emperor Hirohito. It's, you know, Ukrainians losing all their lives. And culture. Totally okay. Even in our timeline, you know. Totally okay. Oh, here we go. Uh, oh, wait. I don't even connect. I keep nuking the wrong things. And yeah, regardless, so that does affect their gold. They got gold down there. Well, that did affect their, um... Lives, at least hopefully a little bit. Uh, yeah, we're, no, oh god. How's the United States doing? Oh, the United States has literally been split in half. Holy, well, I guess I would say split in half, seeing as it's not like one thin line. We've even taken some Canadian territory, but we've literally made a massive buffer between east and west. And actually, how many? Oh my god, there's way too many divisions out here not doing anything. That sounds pretty. That sounds. It looks pretty good. Uh, so probably I'm thinking. When the man the guns comes out, I actually need to figure out when it comes out, because if it comes out at night for me, I will literally stay up late if when it releases. I can't remember exactly what hour it releases. I will stay up late, try it out a little bit, and record the episode from there. So when you see the video, it'll probably be out on the day of, maybe? Or maybe the day after. I'm not really sure. I'm really not sure. I really don't know. 
I really need to see, figure out when that is. Yeah, this is definitely going to be the last one. I didn't expect this one to be the last one, because we still got to do a little bit of, um, land redistribution. So, for example, South Africa and Portugal, all the territory is just going to come to Mitchell Africa. Osterreich, Mitchell Africa. Oh, well, I guess it's not really Osterreich anymore, since we are the German Empire. I really like how the borders are right here. Actually, I'm probably going to take the Niger Desert. Uh, because this looks, honestly, very nice. The rest of Middle Africa can go to... Or, I guess the rest of Africa can go to Middle Africa. I will give the Empire of Japan pretty much all these overseas territories. The Australasian Confederation will probably release by itself. The UK... You know what, I might. I think I'm going to just divide it up, because someone said earlier, Concentrated said earlier, one of these, my subscribers, very, usually vocal guy, or girl, whoever, they wanted me to get assign more territory to my client states, my allies, my non-voluntary allies. And you know what, I'll maybe I'll give, hmm, hmm, I think I'm going to give Ireland, Northern and Southern Scotland, as well as Wales. Why? Well, maybe not Wales. Maybe I'll give them Wales. As well as Cornwall, because we could form the union of, what was it, a Gaelic dialect or what? something like that? There's like, I know in real life there's like some sort of league or union of organization that promotes or tries to retain cultural relevancy of Gaelic culture, kind of. So it's Irish, there's Scots, there's Welsh, there's Cornish, I think that's Cornish as well as Breton uh, culture and dialect or something like that. So actually, I think that'd be really cool. I will liberate the rest of England under someone else. Lens Valonia, you're not a king. You're, yeah, you're not a king. I was going to say I could give England to Flanders Valonia. Hmm, probably not. I definitely don't want to give to the French or the, I guess, the Lowlands. I could just take it, though. I might be able to just take it. I don't want to give it to Scandinavia, though. Because they already have Estonia, Latvia. Oh, I guess Iceland made it out of this game completely peacefully. But I don't I don't, I don't want to go to war with anyone else. I mean, this is this is enough, I think. Uh, single American division. Oh, and they died. Well, uh, let's see how close we are to capitulation now. Uh, the United States is nowhere close to capitulating. Holy crap. If you take out all of Texas, all of the, almost all of the South, a good chunk of the West, that still ain't enough for us to capitulate them. Oh, just, oh you guys should have just gone ham. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, maybe I didn't give make these states cores. Oh, oh, I see why America didn't have enough manpower. Well, I guess technically it did, because some of these states were not core states, which actually is a kind of a problem I would say in the game probably, just because. You, the United States, you should have cores on them. You should have core over all the continental United States. But have like a debuff of like negative 30%, negative 45, 50% of population factor or something like that. Just because, obviously, if you take over territory that is technically yours, but it was owned for a while against your enemy from a literal civil war, people won't really want to join your military, of course. That being said... Over time, the penalty should be reduced. Or I guess should technically be increased, because it's already a reduction. Well, anyways, uh, we'll finish these guys up very, very soon. How is this looking? So, apparently, we're trying to invade... Oh, I guess we did invade this area. Can I... I can't help you guys out. Sorry about that. That'll be good if we can get over there. Our allies are doing a good, good job. South Africa, you are putting one stiff resistance up. You know what? I did this before. I need to do it again. Ooh, improved heavy carrier. Nice. Modern heavy carriers. Even though technically, I wouldn't say modern is 1944's tech. I mean, I don't think we're using any nuclear carriers at the moment. In the game, at least. So this should wrap up fairly soon. America, please. Start capitulating. Okay, so they did start capitulating a little bit. 69%. 69, 69. Alright, uh, let's see. Very good. If we get down to Cape Town, that would be lovely. So we can redistrib redistribute the means of productions, or I mean the land, and have a good time with this. And then, I guess just end this series, this campaign, this very long campaign. Very good. Uh, 
Oh, limited exports. Well, I mean, I don't really need that. Service by requirement. Let's see what happens if I can go to the limited conscription again. Oh, I can't. I need 200. God dang it. Uh, yeah, they, oh, Portugal's tanks. Looks like they're really killing themselves. There's like no one there left. I love it. Kill the tanks off. Frederico da Copas Lopez versus Karim Aga Khan Guzar. Well, he's a little stronger. We do have a bigger combat width. They can pierce us. We are fighting over a river with some really, really great units. And we're not really winning too well. Hold on, wait. I think we've got some persuasion in here. Some nuclear persuasion. And we start. We might be losing still. We might be winning though. We might be. Oh, oh. It's kind of schizophrenic, but we might be winning. I think we just nuked that tank division out of existence. Very cool. How's this going? Uh, are you guys still fighting? Yeah, kind of. Oh, I think you're kind of having a civil war right here or something. All right then, whatever. Very cool. Uh, Ukraine canceled lend lease. I did lend lease them a lot of equipment though, so that's to be sure. Uh, yeah, send these guys down there. Y'all need like a commander. Like in the in the last few days of the new of this old old of old old battles, you need to have a little more oomph thrown in there. Just just pile drive them if you can, man. Cause we got some more nuclear persuasion coming on in. Ah, oh, there you go, baby. Nice and warm, like uh, how I like my Africa. Okay, you're not winning hard enough. A lot of nuclear persuasion now. Oh my gosh, finish this up. Finish this up. Please. Please. Just like start over here and just do this. There you go. That should finish them all up, right? Just go straight for Boston. And uh, Ottawa. That would be, be good too. That would be very good. How close is the United States? They still haven't changed. They are 70% of the way. South African Federation is still holding on pretty strong. Canada, they've lost, looks like, 20% maybe? 20%? Oh, LA. Or I guess close between LA and San Diego. Take that out. Uh, at this point, I'm going to send everyone this way since the tanks should be doing everything else on the other coast. That should be good. Alright. Very cool. Because the tanks are just, they're just strong. They're just strong, boo boos. My strong tankies. Uh, how, what are you guys doing? Uh, you're not really sure what you're doing. I'll send you this way. I'll send you next to Richmond. I'll send you that way. I'll send you that way. Nice. Oh, we took New York City. Very cool. You guys come over here. Take Albany. Never been there. Like that. Ooh, Trenton. I've never been in New Jersey. And you know what? I don't think I ever really want to go. I've not heard of too many good things. I've heard of people leaving New Jersey. Actually, just leaving the new, the Northeast in general, but. If you're from the Northeast, hello. If you're having a good day, ah, and there goes the United States. That's all I had to do. Oh my gosh. Now, y'all will need to take out Montreal. Oh god. I'm looking like a southerner again. Someone's. Please stop me. Oh, and I guess this all stuff as well. Yeah, totally, totally okay. Whee! Very cool. Alright, so how's this going? Oh, we took... We, oh, we actually took this... That, oh my god. Uh, that's not as impressive as I thought. Okay. We actually took the province... Oh, that was pretty impressive. We took out 27 uh, Portuguese convoys. Six, five more convoys. Awesome. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys to go when you can. Uh, we're gonna win there. Fort Elizabeth might need some more persuasion. Uh, that's a lot of convoys dying in the water. It's a very warm Elizabeth. Very nice. Just don't give them time to react. Just, just go ahead. You guys will be fine. No worries. You're not going to take that many casualties, and this is a disgusting Madagascar. Ottomans, the French Republic, and then the French Kingdom. Oof. Cool. Actually, let's see how this, how's this fleet doing. This should be a pretty good fleet now. Uh, sent in the last few that need repairs. Yeah, it's a lot of ships to send at once, but they, each ship doesn't need that many repairs. That'll be done, then we'll send you down to the Australasian Confederation, but by that time, hopefully the Canadians will have capitulated. Alright. And actually, you know what? I'm just noticing the time right now. I'm probably, when the war ends, and the peace conferences begins, I will cut out a large portion, and you won't even re realize it, but I'm just gonna make this video just a, probably a little bit longer. 
Max of 40 minutes. Max of 40 minutes. Because I don't want to, you know, take up too much of your time. Your time is very uh, valuable. Mine. So, when the peace conferences happen, I will cut this out. And you will see how I resurrect this world. Nice. There's like a lot of convoys here. Very cool. Oh, yeah. I think... It just, just can everyone get down there, please? Like, they want... They want to die. Okay, sounds like a lot of people. They want to die. Anyways, um, yeah. Cool, it takes suit very... I'm surprised they haven't capitulated yet. We took Montreal, we took... Oh, maybe we need to take Sherbrooke? Oh, maybe we take Quebec. Quebec. Fredericton? Halifax? Never been in Canada. Oh, seriously, how many more provinces do we have to take? And why are you guys not going? Uh, come on, guys. Let's go! Let's make it! Let's go! Alright. Come on, guys. You got this. Just go, go, go! Uh, actually, just... Come on, take Vancouver. Come on. Up. Oh. oh, that wasn't it. Very cool. Come on. Canada, you're the last one holding out. Don't be a jerk. Just give it up. You... We have the high ground. You do not. Actually... You know, your land is very, very cold. I don't want everyone to come here because it's so cold. Even though, technically, I'm kind of used to the weather that Canada is normally accustomed to. I live in not a very hot place. It can get cold, very cold. It can get warm, but I would never call where I live <clears throat> very hot, ever. Actually, you just come over all over here or something. Go, 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 my soldiers. Go, go, go. Seriously, how much more? How much more do we need? Canada, where are your thingies? 81%. Alright, so... Come on. I, I really don't know what else I have to take. I've already told these guys where to go. They're taking forever because there's quite a bit of lag. Just, come on, guys. Come on. Uh, where are you guys headed to... Just come over here. Get all the way over here. I think if we take Halifax. That sh that might be able to do it. Might not. Might be able to. Might not. Just keep taking as many territories as possible. I didn't think that Canada would be the last one we need to capitulate, but you know I've been wrong before. Uh, what about this island, Vancouver? I heard Vancouver nowadays is very very expensive to live in. Like I think it was a bunch of Chinese investors like buying up all the housing markets at one point. Something like that. Not very cool. Alright, come on. Just, yeah, seriously, we take Halifax, they'll be done. I'm pretty sure they'll be done. Hey, nuclear reactor, nice. And Halifax is almost ours. Come on. Come on. I'm trying to get a marker down so I can figure out what timestamp this is. 33. Okay, seriously, how have they not capitulated yet? Even the Ottomans, the Turks invaded Canada. Even they want you gone. That'll be good. Take the territory. Oh my god. Okay, seriously, what what do I have to do? Like, do I need to ex literally execute the king for you to capitulate or something? Because I don't I don't want to execute anybody anymore. We're, we're we don't want that much more war. I mean, oh, we took Victoria. They are a hundred percent. Of course, capitulation. We are done here. I'm marking the timestamp so I know when to cut this off and to start the other thing. So thank you very much for watching right now. We're not done yet. Don't click that that button to go bye bye. Uh, I'm marking it down. Thank you, and I will see you just in a few exact moments. And welcome back, everyone. Uh, I know you didn't leave, but um, I know I did for a little bit. But we're back, and this is how the world looks. So let's explain a few things here. So, <clears throat> I, of course, took Humboldt Glacier, or also known as Greenland. I divided North America up very oddly, so there's my rationale. So, I gave Alaska to Russia, because why not? I divided up Canada between... Basically, east versus west, or I guess middle west versus east. And I gave this territory, which does feature Quebec, or, and New Quebec, to Occitania, because instead of the French Kingdom, mostly because the French Kingdom, I think, is a little more powerful than Occitania. So that's Canada. Now, regarding the United States, I like I said earlier, I wanted to divide them up, <clears throat> excuse me, according to pre-Civil War boundaries, but unfortunately, when I was checking the territory, there are only claims here. There's no cores. 
but these nations only have claims, which sucks, which means I basically either had to take it or give this all back to the United States, and I didn't want to do that. So I just basically took all the a good portion of the Midwest, the West Coast, as well as Texas, because we all love Texas here. <clears throat> and I left the United States with its major population centers in the East that have not been nuked. Obviously, I've released Mexico by itself, because if I had to take over all of Mexico as a colonial nation, as well as the West Coast and Texas, that would be a little too much for us to handle. Uh, everything else here is ours as a colony, basically, except for this group, and I don't. I think we're pretty much done here trying to take these guys out. Uh, I don't really want to fight them. Middle Africa is just... Middle and South Africa, Middle and South Africa. I, of course, have taken Mad uh, Madagascar. Arabia did take Muscat, and the rest of North Africa, including a large portion of the desert, is ours. Now I can't fix this over here because, well, this is one state. <clears throat> Mauritania, which actually still has slaves to this day, uh, it doesn't look, isn't cut off very well, but you know whatever. Uh, of course, I have taken all of Iberia, and I've given all of the former territory of Italy, back to Italy, which which was mostly just Sardinia. But I did give them Corsica as well, just because, screw it, why not? Italy could use another island. Um, let's see, what else? Of course, oh wait, I forgot to do this. I totally forgot to do this. Alright, my bad. Oops, I don't want Corsica. Uh, this is totally going... I'm totally not going to cut this out right now, because I honestly forgot about it. This is the only thing I forgot about. So like I said earlier, there was some sort of union here, so... <clears throat> I'm going to have a really good Gaelic dialect union here. I'm not going to give this union Bre Breton or Brittany because it's already part of the French Kingdom. And, uh, yeah. I don't want to, I just don't want to split up the French Kingdom any more than I absolutely have to. What am I looking for again? Uh, I swear to God, I was going to do this earlier. Oh my God. Oh, British Reconstruction. Let's do that. We'll do the British Reconstruction Authority just because... The country literally needs to be reconstructed. There you go. That's a very weak England, if I do say so myself. And of course, they're led by King Edward VIII, so they're 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 kind of satisfied. Not really satisfied too much, but they're satisfied enough. So that's going to be very nice, very nice, very nice counterbalance to England with Scotland, Wales, as well as Cornwall and Ireland going against them. Uh, let's see. Uh, Greece was reduced to its rump state. Well, not really a rump state, but a quite a bit smaller state than than. Or what it was for a while. Anything else? Uh, Japan I gave all this territory to Japan. I decided to take Borneo, as well as the uh, Celebs. I guess that's pronounced Celebs, but I gave the rest of the islands around here to Japan. Why? Well, that's mostly because Japan is basically forming a ring around my territory in Borneo, as well as the Russian territory. So that if the Australasian Union or Australasian Confederation decides to attack again, well, the Japanese will be first struck. Isn't that right, Henry of Windsor? That's right. So, the Japanese are there. I basically annexed Hawaii. And then we're back at North and South America. So, that's pretty much our campaign playthrough. I mean, it took us until 1952. Uh, I know this video is quite a bit longer than I expected it to be, but we're not quite at 40 minutes yet, but that's totally okay. Which means tomorrow, in the next few days, I'm going to be trying something else a little different. A different game. A different playthrough that I haven't played in a very long time. I'm not really sure... How long it'll last, but it'll be something new and different. Put that in mind, those guys. Thank you very much for watching this entire campaign between two mods and four decades of our lives. That's insane. Four decades, three national leaders. It's been one hell of a ride. Thank you very much for recommending this playthrough idea with the Great War mod coming to Kaiserreich and just destroying everyone in the world pretty much and having a great time doing so. That's a thick Don Al Adrian. But regardless, guys. Like again, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like! Leave a like for me playing as Austria again. I'm not going to play with with Austria again and probably until 2022 or something like that. Uh, subscribe if you're new here as well. And I will see you tomorrow in a game that I hope that will work with my recording software. If not, i got another backup. Anyways, thanks again. See you tomorrow.